My sister has Alzheimer's. She's 71 years old. And so Asha Dave is waiting to take a free Alzheimer's memory test. She's afraid because the disease also killed her father. It brings her to tears. I don't like the way my sister is because she very intelligent, very educated, but now she's absolutely, she does not know what she's doing. She does not have any idea. More than 180,000 people today are living with Alzheimer's disease in New Jersey. Use a multiplier of three or four for the caregivers. You could see how widespread and prevalent it is in the state. But Alzheimer's has not been really declared what I believe is a national epidemic. Do you think it should be? Absolutely. Charles Fischillo heads the Alzheimer's Foundation of America, which recently hosted the conference with free memory tests. He's sounding an alarm. Right now, 5.8 million Americans are living with the disease. It'll cost the nation $290 billion to care for them. Deaths from Alzheimer's increased 145 percent between 2000 and 2017. But are we any closer to a cure? Researcher Peter Davies points to more than 2,000 ongoing clinical trials involving Alzheimer's. One of these might hit. One of these might actually work. And, you know, I have my fingers crossed. Davies explains many clinical trials have targeted two unusual lesions, amyloid plaques and tau tangles that appear in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. The trial drugs do suppress amyloids, but... The problem is the patient doesn't know it's working. There is no impact on the disease in the patient. In fact, the big pharma company Biogen terminated its latest trial of aducanumab, a human antibody that fights amyloids in March, calling it futile. Then in October, Biogen reportedly found new data and revived its investigation. Davies is skeptical, to say the least. And they said it was so successful that they're going to apply to the FDA for approval. Now, my phone ran off the hook. Um, patients asking me, can we get into the aducanumab trial? The trial was negative in March and it became positive in October. Uh, really? Um, but we'll see. He says Biogen will publish the new data in December. Meanwhile, trials of the first antibodies targeting tangles are just getting underway. There's no cure for Alzheimer's, but you can do something to reduce your risk of developing the disease and to lower the risk of danger to people living with it. Security expert Gene Saunders advises be attentive to elderly people who could be losing cognitive function. Look for clues. Then we noticed that she wasn't answering the phone. Why? Because she said she didn't feel like it. Well, the truth was she had forgotten how to use it. He says making your home safer can involve removing items that trip patients and installing special locks to keep them from wandering outside, especially at night. When they go out, oftentimes they are not dressed for the weather or the environment. Organizers used a unique crossword puzzle to demonstrate what it's like to have Alzheimer's. Nobody in the audience could solve the puzzle because every clue came from a dementia patient's life, items they can no longer remember. The foundation turned it into an unforgettable teaching moment and a national ad campaign. And with unsolvable crossword puzzles, we helped many find the answers they needed. Part of the answer, take care of yourself, eat healthy, get checkups and take memory tests and dance. A study showed people who dance have a lower incidence of Alzheimer's because they exercise body, mind and soul. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.